Hey guys, so today I'm going to be removing the rest of this color that I have in here and also doing my roots, um, touching those up, and I'm going to be doing a bleach bath to remove the rest of this, and I'm going to do that first. That's probably going to lift my roots to some extent, but I'm sure, pretty sure I'm going to have to go through and do my roots um, with just bleach, not the bleach bath for a second round. So I may do that today, I may do that in a couple days. Either way, it's all gonna get done in this video. So stay tuned and I'm gonna change clothes, put a shirt on that I don't care about and uh, get ready to get started. This is what my hair's looking like right now. As you can see, it's mostly gone except for just um, towards the roots, like the top half of my hair is still hanging on, but the rest of it is pretty silver. So I'm going to try to avoid uh, the ends of my hair as much as I can, but we're just gonna go ahead and get started. And I'm using a 10 wine developer because it is so faded. And I've also managed to get my hands on some Blonde Me, which has Olaplex in it. So I'm hoping this will be better for my hair than uh, the quick blue that I usually use. So yeah, let's get started. All right, I've got my hair sectioned pretty well and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And just in case anyone's wondering, I did, I mixed up the bleach like you know, that's one part bleach to two parts developer. And again, I'm using 10 volume developer because I don't need it to be that strong to remove this color. And so I used the Herbal Essences Clarifying Shampoo. And that's what I always use to fade my color as much as possible. I've been using it for several weeks with hot water to get this color out as much as I could before I do this. So that's what uh, we're going to do right now. Ooh, this is going to be messy. So I'm going to leave it in for about five minutes or so and rinse it out and I'll show you the results of that before we get onto my roots. All right, so this is how it came out after that. I got just about everything out. There's like hints of blue and stuff and I noticed in the back there's some like banding from probably where I didn't bleach it as well as I could have in the past. And you can see my roots did lighten a little bit. I expected that. They're like a light, not a light brown, but like a medium brown with orange tones. That's pretty typical when you're uh, lightening darker hair like mine. So I'm going to go ahead and put uh, bleach on my roots. I'm probably going to use a 20 volume developer. And then after I get that applied, I'm going to mix up some uh, more bleach with 10 volume and just kind of spot bleach where I think it needs it, where it could use some help. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go ahead and section off my hair for this and get started. All right, I am now sectioned off and ready to get started.
All right, so this is how it turned out. I left it on for about 10, 15 minutes, and I wish I would have left it on for maybe five minutes longer because my roots are still pretty yellow. So I think five more minutes could have made all the difference, but I still have time before our trip. So what I'm gonna do is in a couple days, I am gonna go back over this with a 10 volume and just leave it on for like five minutes or so, um, just to try to get it to the whiteness of the rest of my hair. So that's what my plan is. Um, that will probably also be in this video. So keep watching if you wanna see that. Okay, so I have actually decided I'm not gonna bleach my roots again. Uh, I'm actually going to just try to tone that, uh, the rest of this yellow and stuff out. And however it comes out, it's just, I'm gonna live with it because it, it doesn't matter too much because uh, next week I'm gonna be letting, well, I'm not gonna tell you actually because next week I'm going to be doing something different with it. And so it's just not that important. I just want it to not look so yellow when we're on our vacation. So hopefully I can accomplish at least that much and uh, we'll see. But I'm gonna be using uh, the generic, like Sally's brand, uh, T14. It's supposed to be really comparable to Wella T14. So we're gonna see how that goes and I will show you the results when we're done. All right, I'm ready to get started and I'm gonna be starting from down here and doing my roots first because they're obviously the most yellow and I will probably go back through and do the rest of my hair because there are yellow tones like all over. Um, but I'm starting down here because it just feels like it makes the most sense. And I used a I used two bottles of it to make sure that I had enough because I always run out of stuff. My hair just drinks, drinks all this up typically. And I used for developer um, three bottles worth of 10 volume and one bottle worth of 20 volume. So if my calculations are correct, that essentially makes this a 12 and a half volume developer that I'm using. And I'm hoping that will be good enough without making me take too much damage. We shall see.
praying to Lord Jesus in heaven that this is not going to kill my hair and that it's going to come out nice and hopefully as close to an icy white platinum as possible. Uh, I'm not trying not to get my hopes up, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure how long I'm going to leave it on. Um, I'm a little nervous right now, so I'm probably going to not leave it in too long. We'll see. I'll check back and I'll let you know. Okay, so I haven't finished rinsing my hair out. Um, I have conditioner in I'm going to leave it in for five minutes, but I think I finally reached a hair veil. <sighs> Guys, y'all, it's not looking good. Okay, so here we are, dried and straightened, and this is not at all what I was going for. Um, I actually don't hate it. It looks a lot better dry than it did wet. I was kind of freaking out pretty bad because my roots looked really green while the rest of my hair looks really dark gray. It's really more like a almost platinum silver gray on the majority of my hair, but my roots are looking bad, guys, in comparison. Uh, I think if all my hair was this color, I'd look fine, but that's clearly not the case. And uh, yeah, I have it parted to the side now because I feel like it looks the least bad. I feel like it's it took the yellow tones out, but now it has like green tones. You know what I mean? Like, can you tell that? Or is that just in my head? I think there's some green tones on my roots, but it's worse where it was darker. Like you see all that, ugh. Not a look, but it's not so bad part from the side where it was lighter because I had bleached it. I think my fatal mistake was just not bleaching it. And then also, um, I don't know. I do like how it turned out, even though it's not what I was going for. I really like this um, silver color. And uh, anyway, like I said, however it comes out, I'm just going to leave it, even though this is kind of a fail in my opinion. Um, so I guess my hair is going to be silver for the trip, not blonde. We'll see how much of it comes out, but yeah, that's it. So um, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, watching me fail on my hair for the first time on my channel. And uh, I will see you in the next one.